Hi everyone, this is Ev Zervodakis with Holistic Healing Astrology and today we're going to talk about the food chain and the food industry. I have a lot of background in the food industry. Uh, those are my roots. My father came from uh, overseas from Greece and he opened up a diner with his partners and they made, you know, tons of money and they served real good food. It was homemade, not like what we have now. So I'm going to give you a little bit of history about the food, but why am I talking about the food right now? Well, because we're in a dangerous situation. All right. If you haven't gone out to your local restaurant lately to see what's going on and if you don't know anybody in the industry to see what's going on behind the scenes um it is a sad state of affairs that is what i'm here to tell you but it's not just the food industry it's also all the 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 components that gets the food on the table so let's just start with the food has changed from the farms the 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 soil is all depleted the pesticides that they use in the soil, um, the fertilizers that they use, and then the age of the food since it's been picked, and then the radiation that goes into the food if it crosses the state lines, and you know they do, and some of the foods even come from different countries. And then we have to look at who is preparing this food, getting it on the truck, picking it from the fields. What kind of hygiene principles do they have in place? It's, you know, people working in the fields, I hate to be graphic, but if they have to go to the bathroom, they don't have porta potties. So you wonder every time I hear, you know, don't forget my background after the, uh, the restaurant industry, you know, working so many years helping my dad out. Uh, when I became of age, I definitely went to school and, um, got into the, the healing industry of medicine and I worked as a laboratory uh, medical person and um, you know we looked for cancer cells that was my thing I did that for many many years but I always did my astrology and my metaphysical studies I loved it and I did that on the side for all my friends and my family so getting back to the food food is a big issue right now we need food to eat and yes, America was the breadbasket of the world, you know, because of our farmland. We fed, you know, cancer is the, the sign of uh, the United States of America. Cancer is the nurturing country, uh, very prosperous, but very caring and compassionate. We took care of the world, but at what cost? You know, it was all in good intentions, but... We bastardized the food, you know, putting hormones in the food, GMOs, everything else. You know, we use modern technology to enhance the food production, but then it, st it started to backfire. So, and then you wonder why we have leaky gut and digestive issues and Crohn's disease. You know, you need to piece things together, guys. We have forgotten how to think. We've forgotten how to tap into our own, our own intuition, you know. That's why shamanism is really uh, sprouting out here um, because we're going into the age of Aquarius where the ancient and the modern is blending together. So the food has evolved into old food. You know, we don't know when it was picked. They use preservatives to keep it from rotting and um, then they use pesticides. You don't know what kind of critters are crawling all around this food in the warehouse. You don't know how much um, uh, rat droppings, mice droppings are in the food. You know, that's allowed according to the FDA. So, you know, with storage of food, we have issues. So that's one of the components. So the food that I remember back in the diner days, uh, they used to cook big vats of potatoes, about a bushel of potatoes at one time, they boil it up, and the guy would sit there and just peel the potatoes, listening to his music, um, and, you know, get it ready. No preservatives. And then when the potatoes are peeled, they cut them up, throw them on the grill, make uh, home fries, or they would make mashed potatoes, all fresh. There was no powdered mashed potatoes back in the 50s and the 60s of the last uh, century, okay? So 
to make things easier because you know we started the women started working in the workplace outside of the home uh we needed to make things more convenient so anyhow um that's kind of what's been happening and the other thing that we have to remember is that the food um is not as nutritious because the land has been stripped of its minerals we're not putting back i remember when they peeled the potatoes it would take all the skins give it to the farmer or whatever they would put it back into the fields as fertilizer so now we're going back into shamanistic thinking you know we're in the age of aquarius and pluto is leaving capricorn and going into aquarius and that is one of the reasons why this cycle is changing right before our eyes we are in the middle of a huge irreversible change pluto is about transformation pluto is about death the end of something old so this way of living eating processed food has come it's up to here it's caused so many problems with diseases chronic diseases it's not helping us so what are we going to do about it what you need to do is if you have any land that you could grow your own food on do it it's time you know think about uh, all the money and the pesticides and the labor involved in maintaining a front yard backyard with you know perfectly manicured lawn I'm not against all that but it's time to get practical you know it's about humanity right now Aquarius is about humanity it's about the blending of the ancient with the modern you know there's a place I believe in um in one of the Scandinavian countries in a neighborhood uh where every every house in the neighborhood has its own garden garden that sustains the family and that whole community has their own food tomatoes herbs and the, even the chickens and stuff like that so I am calling to you and challenging you to really think about it I mean you could buy uh, processed you know food that will last for 20 years but is that going to be good for your health why not use what we already have that would really help mother earth you know and using recycling our uh you know eggshells putting it back into the earth coffee grinds all that is so good as a fertilizer even the animal droppings it's all excellent for the the soil so that is one of the big solutions now what's happened in the local restaurants besides the food chain issue um you know they're having a hard time getting all the ingredients to make all the foods that are on the menus okay number two they're having a tremendously hard time to find employees to work because since covid let's think about it our values have changed i don't know about yours but mine have you know when you see your friends family members um acquaintances dropping dead left and right before their time because of covid or because of other factors that are unknown like adult sudden death i mean this is crazy stuff right now no explanation you don't know who to trust who's telling the truth however people are dying yes we're all going to die i know that's a morbid subject but it's how we die it's how we live do we want to continue living in poor health you know um eating really bad food that has you know mouse droppings in it eating old food we don't even know when it was picked from the tree uh, the, the last few times i've been getting fruit that is not locally um grown it, it's the texture strange and it tastes funny and there's just so much going on with our food so getting back to the food industry as far as people going to work all industry is suffering now from employees that are like you know what they don't chase the dollar anymore that was different generation people you know just bought into the the idea like you got to save for tomorrow you got to have all this money for tomorrow and look what's going on with the 401ks right now the stock markets it's all and all your 401s your retirement plans are based on the stocks good luck <laughs> you know 
Is it a scam? Not really. It just, it's unpredictable. Everything is unpredictable right now. And that's part of the Aquarian energy. Shocking, unpredictable, but it's all about humanity. So people don't want to work as servants for other people in, you know, the uh, to wait on them or to cook for them. It's hot in that kitchen. If you never worked in a restaurant, you'll never understand. You'll never understand what goes on behind the scenes. I mean, that's a whole nother video as far as, you know, the hygiene, who cleans the food. And don't forget back out in the fields, who is picking your food? You know, if they're from different countries, they have different hygiene standards. They don't have porta potties out there. They use the fields. And who knows if they have toilet paper? So when the next time you hear about recall lettuce, you know, with E. coli on it, E. coli comes from feces. So put things together. I'm asking you guys to think because we need to all think for ourselves. Don't just listen to what media is telling you. Follow the money if you don't want to, you know, listen, but just follow the money. That will tell you a lot. Who's making all the money? Is it you? Are you making all the money? So, so getting back to the restaurants, they are 90% of them, if not 100%, are understaffed. So they have limited resources on people preparing the foods, people cleaning the area, and people showing up to accommodate all the uh, patrons that come in to have a meal. But you know what? There's also the, I pay attention when people go into a restaurant, how they behave. They talk to the servers as if they're servants. I've never seen anything like it with such disrespect, no gratitude. My egg's a little runny. Oh, my toast, I don't like the way it tastes. Can you send it back? Throw it out, this and that. I'm not paying for it. It took too long. You know, why don't you go home and cook? The luxury of having other people cook for you, you know, and you're not using your gourmet kitchen, well, shame on you. That's all on you. But more and more and more restaurants are closing around here left and right. You go to restaurants, they're not at full capacity. It has nothing to do with COVID. It has to do with staffing. They change their hours due to staffing. But it may not affect you right now, but eventually it will. So we all need to rally together and come up with a solution. Don't go out and eat so much. They can't handle it. Start growing your own food. Start cooking your own food. I mean, I grow my own tomatoes. and I don't like the tomatoes in the store unless they're locally, you know, grown tomatoes. But, you know, it's so much better for your body. You're getting all the nutrients, all the vitamins. So that is my take on the food industry and people don't understand. And next time you go to a restaurant to eat, ask the servers what's going on. On, ask them how they feel, treat them right, give them a tip. I can't believe some of these cheap people going out there and giving a 10% tip or under. That's ridiculous. Do you know how much work goes on behind the scenes to get you so you could eat on a clean plate with clean silverware and have a napkin on the table with salt and pepper? Somebody's got to fill all that stuff up. Somebody's got to cut up all that fruit. Someone's got to get it all ready. Somebody has to make sure that coffee is brewed, that your beverages are made. You know, someone's got to go and talk to the cook and it's hot back there, 120 degrees. There, there, there's really not a lot of, um, you know, air conditioning going on in a kitchen because everything's on. Deep fryers, grills, you know, broilers. It's hot back there. So... The other aspect is the energy aspect. If people are not happy that are working on your food, preparing your food and serving your food, guess what? You're getting that unhappy juju. You're getting that unhappy energy in your food. Is that what you want? Yes, I'm a little bit controlling. You know, I got a lot of Scorpio in me and I get to see the doom and gloom on everyday life. But you know what? This is real. This is no joke. And you could go and buy that food that, you know, will last for 20 years and you'll have food for 20 years. 
but no thanks. I don't want to be eating cardboard food. Uh, I'd rather just, if I have land, grow my own food. Get a chicken or have, you know, have access to the community um, farms. And if you live in the big cities, I don't know what to tell you. But I'm praying for everybody. I'm calling on all the archangels and the angels uh, that are here to guide us and protect us. We're here to meditate. We're here to work together, not to be divided. Love is the answer. But there's so much greed, so much division, you know, and not taking care of humanity. I mean, the homeless situation around here is unbelievable. Those poor people traumatized and we don't know how to help them. But all we care about is, you know, my steak didn't come out exactly the way I want it. Well, then go home and cook it. You know, yeah, you're paying a lot of money. But, you know, look at the big picture, you guys. The big picture. What is going on in the world? Are we really taking care of these big issues, human trafficking and homelessness? We're just ignoring it. That's not what we're called to do. But the age of Aquarius and Pluto going into Aquarius is going to make it in our face. We can't ignore. We have to help one another. And we have to get actively involved. And there may be a little revolution going on. There may be some rebellion going on. But it's for the higher good. So that is my take on the food industry. There's a lot more I could say. But seriously, look around and, you know, let's go to the grocery stores. With the grocery stores, you know, we used to have 17 different varieties of every different kind of thing. Laundry detergent, uh, peanut butter, all, all different kinds. You know, GMO, non-GMO. Try not to eat any GMO. You know, it's, it's genetically modified. And anything that's genetically modified will modify your uh, DNA. So that's all for me, and I will talk to you later. Be sure you follow my blogs on Holistic Healing Astrology. Follow my Tic Tac, Holistic Healing Astrology. And uh, if you want a copy of my newsletter, subscribe to it on HolisticHealingAstrology.com. So share this, like this, subscribe to this channel so you can get your updates every time I put out a new YouTube. Blessings.